everyone, it's Erin. Uh, welcome to Lit Cocktail. So today, I've got my Malbec. Cheers, I'll wait for you guys to get your glass of whatever you might be drinking too. And today, we're gonna be talking about one of a really cool book that I recently picked up from the library, thank you, LA Public Library, After Party by Dale Gregory. Um, so this was a book that I first heard of when I was looking at the NPR Best Books 2014 list and I was sort of going through there looking at which ones I really was interested in and this one sort of stood out because it was sort of a near future sci-fi um, fiction book and um, it took a little while to get through. Uh, it was a little dense I think uh, some of the action sort of didn't pick up quite as much. It sort of picked up and then it was slow in the middle and then sort of picked up at the at the end but um the premise really quickly is that um again it takes place near future meaning sometime that's not you know way way out in the future where there's you know flying cars and whatnot but uh some you know 15 20 25 years down the future where things are already sort of in progress where we can kind of see them coming to fruition so uh, it has to do with sort of a drug revolution and where people can print and design their own drugs to take recreationally and this sort of comes from um, sort of pharmaceutical uh, companies formulas being really easily replicated, and people can kind of get their own printers and print their own LSD and that's sort of passe and so um, it sort of centers around the main character uh, Lida who um, she is a neuroscientist and she was developing this drug at a small startup biotech um, that was supposed to help with schizophrenia and instead through some accident she and all of her team overdosed on the drug and now have permanent religious hallucinations um, and so each one sort of has their own sort of religious icon um, hers is the big angel with white wings and she calls her Dr. Gloria which is really interesting and funny um, and she sort of spends the whole time fighting with this hallucination which she knows is hallucination but she also kind of talks about how she sort of depends on her and she even though she knows she's not real she sort of knows she sort of sees that she's real and kind of can't walk away from the fact she's not real so there's a lot in here I think um, if you're interested in sort of science and sort of the background behind uh, medicines and sort of drug revolution and also um, interested in sort of the ethics and kind of discussion around um, religion and science uh, that's also really interesting so there's a big discussion about um, if everyone is a better person if they have a little bit of religion and what does that mean versus um, you know who who is responsible for making certain decisions is, you know, is it chemical in your brain? Are we responsible? So there's a lot of um, ethical discussions that I think are really interesting and sort of kind of keep you coming back to revisiting some of the content in here. Um, like I said, it was a little dense to get through. Um, there's a lot of a cool action, but it sort of drops off in certain sections. But it's definitely a really interesting read if you're into... Um, sort of the near future sci-fi, it's really bright. Um, like William Gibson, sort of who is the father of cyberpunk. So it's kind of similar feel in that. Um, very gritty, flawed characters, um, but also relatable characters in a sense, um, as well as really, um, really cool imagery and a really interesting near future world that he's created. One of the things I think I really did like about um, the story was the way that Gregory was able to put in diversity and not only um, ethnicities but also in sexual relationships and sexual orientation so uh, the main character is gay and sort of really just easily woven in it's not really um, put in there just to be put in there um, and so and it's also no one really looks at her sort of any other way so sort of, she's sort of like just treated it's sort of just another day, uh, which I find really um, cool. And there's a lot of mixes. There's, you know, an Indian character, an Asian character, and a lot of other characters that sort of are represented, but they're not put in there just to be put in there, which I think 
is great because one of my pet peeves of publishing and literature is people will put in a character that fulfills a need for diversity without actually having a need or meaningful without being there in a meaningful way so I enjoy when an author puts a character in there that's necessary but her ethnicity is sort of just woven in seamlessly into the story. So that's basically my take on it. I definitely would recommend it if you're into sci-fi, if you're into sort of a kind of techno thriller, I guess it's a little bit easier to sort of categorize. Um, there is a bit of mystery, there's a lot of action, um, there's action. So if you're into, if you like those things, if you like your sci-fi and if also you're into interested in sort of the underpinnings of ethics and religion and science um, definitely check out this book have you read this book have you heard of it are you interested in reading it let me know um, down below in the comments um, and I can see if I want to read more of stuff like this I definitely have a lot of sci-fi um, on my list, both classic that I probably will just be reading for leisure, as well as sort of new uh, releases in sci-fi. Um, but I really love stuff inspired by Philip K. Dick, um, Ray Bradbury, Robert Heinlein, a lot of those kind of classic science fiction writers. Um, but I also really do love the newer sort of cyberpunk, William Gibson type um, sci-fi. So. Tell me what your favorite sci-fi is you're reading. Do you have any on your reading list? Do you have any that you want to be reading right now? Uh, let me know. And until next time, cheers guys.